The FGD10 range of gas detectors are flameproof with ATEX and IECX certification. They are certified for use with a temperature range of minus 20 to plus 60 degrees centigrade and the infrared sensors fitted are temperature compensated for this range. Palistas, electrochemical and infrared sensors can all be used for a wide range of gases. Die cast aluminium and stainless steel enclosures are both available. The FGD-10A has a LC display, three relays, alarm 1, alarm 2 and fault, and can be used as a standalone detector or with a control unit. Magnetic switches are used for non-intrusive calibration. Upon startup, the power and alarm LEDs light up. The alarm LED will then go out. The display goes through a startup routine and will finally read 0.0, .0 or 20.9 for oxygen. Four magnetic switches operate the detector. When a switch is successfully pressed, the key press LED will light up. If it is pressed incorrectly, the LED will not light up. As the detector measures an increase in gas, the value on the LC display will increase. When the alarm level is reached, in this case 20% LEL, the alarm LED will light up. To zero the detector, once the correct menu setting is selected, the display shows the current zero figure. The enter button is then pressed and the display will show four dashes to show that the sensor is being zeroed. When this is completed, the display will show 0.0. .0. To span the sensor, the gas concentration level in the instrument needs to be set to that of the test gas being used, in this case 30% LEL. When this is confirmed, the display will show the current gas reading and then display four dashes to show that the sensor has been spanned. The FGD-10B does not have a display or relays and for this reason it needs to be connected to a control panel. Upon startup, the display on the control panel chosen will read 0.0, .0 or 20.9 for oxygen. If the detector measures an increase in gas, the value on the display of the control panel will increase. When the alarm levels are reached, it is the relays from the control panel that will activate alarms. The detector is operated using either a configuration keypad which is connected into the USB connector once the flameproof cover is removed or by pressing the zero and span buttons inside the detector. To zero the detector using the buttons inside, press the zero button for a minimum of five seconds. Please note that zeroing must be carried out in a gas-free atmosphere. To span the sensor, you can use the span button if you are using the same concentration of gas that is stored inside the sensor. Press the span button for a minimum of 5 seconds. If the gas level does not match, then the keypad must be used. To zero and span using the keypad, it must be plugged into the USB connector in the detector. To zero the detector, once the correct menu setting is selected, the display on the keypad shows the current zero figure. Once the correct button is pressed, four dashes will be displayed to confirm the sensor zero has been performed. To span the sensor, apply a known concentration of test gas. Using the buttons on the keypad, set the correct gas level in the sensor span menu. Then confirm the level is correct and the keypad will display four dashes to confirm this.
For further information on the FGD10 range of detectors or the rest of our products, please visit status-scientific.com.